Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and today, more prints. Today, we're doing a live show from LA from 2009. Gonna do multiple tunes off of this, and uh, we're gonna start out with I'm Yours. And uh, I just kind of sampled a little bit of it, sounded great. Uh, lots of audience noise, but you know, whatever. Sounds like an amazing performance. So, I probably am gonna make a weekend out of this one, uh, do probably four or five off of it, and then uh, kind of re release them over a weekend coming up here soon. And uh, please join me for that if you see that, and uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, kind of uh, finding a lot more uh, audio of prints without video is kind of what I'm getting at, and uh, I'll be doing a lot of those going forward as well. And uh, hopefully finding the occasional unseen to my eyes uh, live performance of prints so uh, here we go we're starting with the song I'm yours this is live 2009 There we have it. Prince doing a super uh, heavy uh, I'm Yours. I believe all the versions I've heard have been that heavy. Uh, with that cool uh, kind of melody motif at the beginning and the end. 
and just some wailing guitar and some really cool processing, uh, meaning using like the harmonizer. And I believe, um, I don't know if he's using the whammy pedal here or the zoom. It might be the zoom because this is 2009. And for some reason for the life of me, uh, I have been kindly sent a lot of Prince's gear that I could print out and the band members. But for some reason, I always forget to do that. So I apologize. But uh, I just love hearing this stuff. I'm not trying to um, know everything about his guitar setup per se. And the less I know, sometimes the better because uh, I'm just always, it's that, sh nah, it's not the shock value per se, but it's always that it catches me off guard when I hear such cool like outlandish and like just intense guitar playing and you can hear it in the audience that they're kind of coming unhinged and damn it would have been incredible this specific uh show would have been incredible so if you were there please comment and uh i can only imagine and uh the great thing about this video uh or not video but the audio of this is the voice is really clear guitar is pretty up there as well uh bass is kind of kind of uh, not as forefront uh in the mix or whatever obviously it's probably from a phone or maybe at best a zoom handheld recorder or something so um and maybe even a board tape i don't know but i would hope board tapes would be better than this as far as the mix so anyway i'm just making stuff up so uh i love prints uh, I will be doing at least four songs off this specific concert and um, I'll make some kind of announcement in the community uh, part of my page, my channel, um, and uh, hopefully people will join me and will kind of uh, relaunch my Prince obsession. It's never stopped. I mean, if you look at my channel, it's probably a good 50% of the material I talk about is either Prince or someone doing Prince's songs, for better or worse. And there's been some great ones, and there's been some not-so-great ones. So um, that's not a reflection on these people that do covers as musicians. I'm just kind of trying to illustrate, and I'm sure this is obvious to fans, um, They're when they're good, they're good. When they're bad, they're kind of like bad so um and obviously prince is a uh or was a irreplaceable you know i don't know how do you i don't know the right descriptors but i know when i hear it like that he was one of a kind i've said this in many videos it's not new and um you know i think it's obviously uh a shame he's not here. And I've said that a million times too, and I'm sure that's echoed millions of times a day as people that are long fans and um, people that just discover him today might say the same thing or do say the same thing. And uh, I guess what would be great is if someone saw this on my channel and had, and this has happened maybe a couple of times, had never heard of Prince or never really listened to him. And because I was doing guitar bass stuff, they're a guitarist or whatever, and they heard something that really caught their ear and um, at least hope, uh, helped them or made them kind of investigate Prince more than maybe uh, the kind of cursory, like, you know, Prince from the 80s, dancing, singing, being controversial, which I never thought that at all but you know some people are easily offended or something i guess so um with that said i'm brian and this is guitar solo reactions and please uh join me as i do more and more prints and hopefully i'm gonna put all of these in a weekend like i said and we'll get something going and um i'm pretty excited after hearing this show i've never left unhappy when I watch Prince. Now there's some, you know, that don't catch me the same way, but uh, this specific concert has four or five songs on it that I just can't wait to hear. So anyway, thanks for being here. Talk to you soon.